Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into your Monday to Sunday reading from the 15th until the 21st of November. I'm going to call in your spirit guides to please come into my spirit room and to guide this reading for us. If I don't knock the camera, let me reset this, this thing. There we go. And um, ask them to please come in here. Show us what we need to see and please give us the messages we need to receive. I am going to start out the reading with the Moonology uh, Tarot card. We are then going to move into past, present and future. And then also look at the end of the reading what you don't see coming. Okay. Um, if you want to have a little personal reading done, I do them here for free on YouTube. So comment below with your, uh, with your question and your zodiac sign. So that if you are a cross watcher, then you must go check your zodiac sign. They will be released in tomorrow's batch of readings. So randomly I choose somebody and I do a little personal reading here. And, uh, if you want to have that done, comment with your zodiac sign and then turn on that notification bell so you don't, you know when I release the videos. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe or you will lose my channel. Okay. Okay, so let's go in here and have a look. What is your challenge right now? Let's have a look and see. To balance your energy. <laughs> Full moon in Pisces. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Spirituality would be representative of your emotions, how you feel, your beliefs. Um, and then practicality is how you're living your everyday life. So those two things need to become balanced energy. It can also mean if you're in a relationship that you need to balance the emotional aspect of the relationship with some good old common sense. You know what I mean? So let's have a look and see for you, Cancer. And it's interesting because you and Pisces can be, um, both those water signs can be very, very uh, emotional energies, especially when it comes to like relationships and love and all these kinds of, in fact, everything you know what I mean my daughter's cancer so I know her it affects her a lot when things go wrong in life even if it's work related or whatever it is she'll become emotionally affected by that so let's have a look and see what is going on here in your past energy you've been putting a lot of effort into something you may have become overwhelmed too much practicality and you are not taking care of the emotional side of things you may have also been giving and giving and giving a lot of yourself here um it doesn't mean that it cannot happen. It cannot be worked out. But I feel like you're overextending yourself in some kind of way here. Or you, I hope you're not going to find something like a six of pentacles in the reverse position here. Or maybe you've been giving too much to somebody or too much to a situation. And you may have not been receiving the same back. Let's see it's in current energy. Two of voices, I feel like you've given up on that now. I feel like you've gave so much of yourself to somebody here. Um, I do kind of feel like it could be a relationship. I'm feeling it more to be a relationship. But if this is something else for you, like a friendship or even work-related situation, I feel like you gave more than what you were meant to give and you never really got much back. With the two of voices, this is past. Current energy, I feel like you, you may have pushed the situation out of your life right now, which is actually... Uh, a very good thing to do if you're actually overextending or giving of yourself and somebody's not giving the same feeling back to you or the same attention back to you it is better to uh, be more cautious around the situation so let's see what else comes tenor voices you got to be more cautious around the situation future energy you got a tenor voices here if you're not with this person um you may have to maybe even put your voices up a little your swords up a little bit more higher here because i'm concerned about somebody hurting you here if you're still connecting to them or if they come back um i, I feel like somebody's like taking advantage of you to be honest to be honest um they could be playing with your emotions as well you see and they know that you can get very emotional about things and they use that against you. It's like they can use your emotions to make you come back to them and then they can use your emotions to make you feel um, hurt. I even see the Seven of Pentacles. You really put your work in here. Let's go deeper, Spirit Guides. I even saw a Knight of Cups, okay, which could indicate somebody coming back in here. But I don't like this. I don't like this in the future energy. So recent past, one card remained. Temperance energy in the reverse position. I think you kind of learned something here. There's a Sagittarius's card as well. I think you kind of learned that you maybe were not in a situation that was good for you. With the Temperance being there, it's a card of caution. By the way, it's also the card of balance. 
It's the card of balance. I think you saw this. I think you saw somebody could have been either taking advantage of your good heart or of how much you give of yourself and they were not giving back. It's like you had to do the running all the time. So let's have a look and see. Five of Swords conflict occurred. I honestly see the Two of Swords Yeah, I'm not surprised to see this. Um, you may have even told somebody to leave your world. Um, I feel like you're the one holding the sword here. You may have told somebody, no, this is not working for me because you're um, not balanced. You're not with me. You're not giving and taking freely and um it's it's like you're not you know you, you're not it's that give and take energy it's i'm giving you need to give back and it's a one-sided situation that i'm picking up on here king of wands in the reverse position currently right now you're in solitude um i feel like you're not in communication with this person right now especially because the two of swords with the king of wands has come up here which indicates that you kind of pulled your energy away you may not be in communication um if you are in kind of communication with them it's awkward it's not easy it's a difficult sort of speaking if you're still with this person it's that kind of stage where you kind of like not talking to somebody even though you're with them you know what i mean very uncomfortable the knight of wands comes in here as well they are going to come back in again even if you are in a connection i see them coming towards you watch out though um it's this knight of wands that's coming in here towards the ten of swords in the future this does represent fire sign energy both of them do as well with the temperance being there that is sagittarius so the thing is yeah i do feel like you're not done with this person I do feel like you're not done with them. They're not done with you either. Um, uh, you may be done with them, but they're not done with you. But I don't feel like their intentions are good because of the ten of voices coming up here. Let's see what else is going to show itself. Yeah, they're coming in. Told you. I know us. I, I knew I saw this card. I, when I was shuffling, it kind of like just opened a little bit and I knew I saw the card. Um, you've got two knights coming in. This is action. They are coming in back towards you. But I kind of don't like the vibe of the ten of voices there. I feel like this person might end up hurting you. And I don't like that. Yes, it's a repetitive cycle. Um, yeah, you go. And this temperance energy warns of not repeating past mistakes. Okay, so you've got a seven of swords coming in here. Yeah, this person's got a sneaky vibe. On top of it with a seven of swords, this is known as the sneaky, the sneaky card. And what I don't like about what I'm picking up on here, um, whenever you see the Knight of Wands energy, it is not a great energy with regards to relationships. Um, even though they're coming in here. But, the you know, you look at these two knights. You've got this knight coming in here. Uh, towards you with this cup of love coming in here here i am and they are back to back with this this knight of wands so what they show you is here i come uh with this cup of love i want to try work it out with you again again i'm saying because there's your repetitive cycle and this they back to back so this is the same person what you don't know is that, that they're also looking away from you and they are also looking at um what has happened in the past year between you and them I hope there's no revenge on their mind. But anyway, um, they also don't know which direction they're going. Look at that. They're going this way. They're going this way. Where are they going? They don't know. And that is one of the energies of the Knight of Wands. That's why it's not nice to see a Knight of Wands coming up in a reading about a relationship. Because they don't know what they want. There's a lack of maturity here. Um, they kind of like... Whatever direction the wind is blowing today, they'll go. So if today the wind is blowing this way, the night will go this way. And tomorrow, if they don't feel like it anymore, then they're going to leave you again. Repetitive cycle. So just be careful. Okay, let's have a look and see what you don't see coming here. Oh my gosh. you got five of cups, heartache, heartache and pain, three of swords. You've got um, this isolation. Possibly they could be dealing with somebody else here as well. With the Three of Swords coming up, sometimes the card of showing that they're dealing with another person. Three of Swords does mean third party situation. And you've got a five of, and it's unbelievable. And you've got a Wheel of Fortune. Um, it could be time to end this cycle with this person. It can't go on. It cannot be repetitive like this. Getting hurt again and again by the same person. And by the way, if this is, you're not letting this person back in here. Maybe you're like, no. I will never, Deborah, let this person come back. Be careful the next person that comes into your life, that they're not the same person with a different name and a different face, same energy, that will just repeat the same thing. And that means you need to change your type of person, you know what I mean? Or you need to uh, 
adjust your energy in some kind of way. Being who I am, I am a hedge witch. So you can see I work with herbs and all these things. One of the things that hedge witches do, we're really good at herbs as well. The thing is, whenever I face a problem that's like the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, even the Temperance of repetitive problems, maybe with different situations, I come to this realization. This is how we work anyway. Um, I, you know, people always like to say, oh, witches put spells on people. We actually don't. We most of the time putting spells on ourselves. You know what I mean? We're mostly working with our own energy to create something. And the thing is, I would change my own energy. Because if you've got a problem that's repetitive, if you've got a problem that's happening again and again, different people, same relationship, especially that, that means your energy needs to be have an, have an adjustment, slight adjustment, uh, so that the vibration that you're emitting out of yourself, you see, the vibration, the energy that is coming out of you, you see, going up into the universe doesn't attract the same kind of thing again and again. And that would be you ending a cycle and having a new, very positive cycle coming in here. Now I understand balanced spirituality with practicality. This is not just about what is happening in your world. This is about what is happening inside of you as well. If you want to change, you could be doing all the right things and wanting to understand why am I doing everything right and every single time I keep on having the same kind of situation repeat, coming back in again and again. That, that means you need to now turn to spirituality. You need to turn to spirituality so that you can um, you know, the two threes being in your reading literally means unity. And we are talking about balance here twice as well with the temperance and that uh, full moon in Pisces. You need to unify your soul, adjust your energy in some kind of way. Even if that means um, you try some meditation or you try even to purify your energy as well to remove anything like blockages or stagnant energy or past pain that you're still carrying that can be emitting out of you and literally causing a repetitive cycle. Um, one of the things I can tell you, um, what you can do, I honestly, you know, you've also got two fives in your reading here. And I, I kind of feel like there could be a lot of stuff from your past that's still lingering in your energy. I'm just picking it up here. You may have to kind of like release those kinds of things, like um, let it go, almost go back into that energy and heal it and release it. One of the things that I'm going to be doing, um, I think when the full moon comes now, after the full moon, I feel like doing a real good purification. And I feel like it will be so good for you as well, which is something you can do if you so wish to do, is get the Himalayan pink uh, salts, you know, the pink sea, the salt for the Himalayan one. And every night for 21 days, I'm just going to sprinkle some in the day on my bed. I know it's going to be a bit uncomfortable. And then at night, sweep it up even on my pillow and then sleep with that energy of totally being purified. The next day, take the same salt, throw it again for 21 days. I'm doing that so that I'm preparing for 2022. So this, I want to make sure that uh, my energy is straight. You can even do something similar like that with the balance of spirituality and practicality. Whatever you think is right, right, right for you. You can even Google, how can I purify my energy or how can I shift my energy in some kind of way? You can go to sound therapy. There's more than one way. You can use herbs to do that. You can use crystals. Um, um, you can use a whole bunch of stuff. You can use baths, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. There's some kind of spirituality that needs to be adjusted here with your life so that you can have a different outcome. And I do actually see you being successful in doing so because the Wheel of Fortune is here. So there we go. Um, if you want to have your question answered, comment below and check back tomorrow and let's see if I can choose you. And sometimes even if I don't choose you today, I might even choose you the day after. I try to like really answer almost everyone's questions. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending my love in your direction. Bye.